Hello, this is Bonnie, and today I'm going to be working on a lawn fawn um, project. And I also want to say straight away, so I don't forget, is um, today and tomorrow, which will be um, April 12th, um, 2023, um, Dyes R Us is having um, a sale. You can get um, any lawn fawn um, products that are in the store 10% off. And I will have the code for that down below in the description. So these things that I'm showing you right now are still in the store. And this one is called um, Embroidered Hello. And it really kind of like looks like this once you stitch it up. And I've also seen people actually use this on fabric and um, really do it that way. But I'm using it on paper today. Um, and one of the new things that just was released um, this spring is this cute little set called So Very Mice. And it's um, really adorable. It's got a lot of cute little things that you can um, even put inside of the hoop. Just, I mean, it's just super cute. And if you want to see more ideas, obviously go to the Lawn Fawn um, YouTube site or their um, Facebook page. They even have a blog. So um, it also comes with a coordinating um, die set. So um, I'm going to be using that as well. And so what the plan is, so far I've got things put together. I have already colored up some of the images um, that I stamped and I just used my um, Prismacolor pencils. And I also, I don't know if you can kind of see, I actually add a little bit of this sparkly um, gel pen. It's a silver one. It's um, Pentel. And I will be die cutting all of those out and putting those together. And the other thing is, is I am going to be using an actual embroider, wooden embroider hoop. And this hoop, I believe, is a four inch. Well, let's see here. It, well, if you measure all the cost, it's like uh, all the way across, it's like four and a quarter. And so what I decided to do is I want to mimic um, using um, paper instead of actually using the um, embroidery um, the embroidered cloth. So um, I've already um, cut out the word hello, but what I used is I went and figured out what would work really well on top of this hoop. And so um, this die is actually four inches. So, um, and it's just gonna work and you can still be able to see the hoop, which is what I was trying to go for. I've also seen um, it done this way, where you can also put it behind and then have your figures, you know, your stamped images come up so it looks more like a frame. And I'm not really sure. I might change my mind and have that been, um, behind instead of on top. I'll see how it looks as we go. And then also for my stash, which I've had for a while, um, it is Sizzix, but it came from Stamping Up. And this, when you use this embossing folder, looks like it is cross-stitch um, fabric. So I am going to... I. I'm going to do that next because um, I wanted to get make sure these holes were in here right before I started um, putting any texture on here. So um, the other thing I want to tell you, because um, I'm going to be doing this off screen, is I am using this color thread because it really goes well with the pinks um, that I used on here. The, I don't know, it's not really a hot, kind of like not really a hot pink, but anyway, um, it is not embroidery floss, although I would have used it if it was the right color. It is more of a needlepoint yarn that I am using. Um, either will work through this, it doesn't matter. But I just was going for the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and emboss this and I'm gonna stitch this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, the very last part. I'm doing the O, I've already done the rest of it. And um, basically, I am I'm just going to show you. It's probably the easiest way to do it, and I'll get a little bit closer. So I'm going to be doing the O, and I actually pay close attention to how they have done it on the back as well. So um, I am using just, this is not a sharp needle, but it is a needle that has a large eye to it. So it makes it easy for you to thread. And there's no reason for it to be sharp because you've already got your holes in here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going forward with my stitching and I'm coming back. I'm not doing stitching like in and out, in and out um, because I want it to be a continuous um, string. So I'm just up to this point where I'm reaching the, um, 
Okay, so I'm trying to see what I just did there. So that already was not what I was supposed to be doing. That one right there, which I'm going to show you how you take this apart. And then you can go to the back and pull that out. It's supposed to go straight up there. So I'm going to re-thread my needle, which is really good because you really do need to see if you um, put it in the wrong way. There's just You just unthread your needle and unstitch that. So I needed to go up here instead of over straight over. Just pay attention to what this is showing you here. Because if you do your own stitches, you know what you're wanting to be doing. But uh, I'm trying to see which way. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Because I'm trying to figure out how I get back to that one and go over. I might need to use more thread. We'll just see. So again, I go forward to the next one, like I said. And then I come back to what I just put my thread into. So forward. And the forward, that would be the one that would be the next one. And back. Okay. And I'm watching how this goes. You can see that this, they did theirs on top of. So this has to be underneath. So forward and back. forward and back and we're going to just do that all the way around till we get to that point up here where we can go and make our little loop sometimes I can't feel it there we go again without having a sharp needle you don't have to worry too much about poking yourself and causing an issue now the only deal is here, I'm getting really low on my thread. I was hoping I'd have enough to finish off. We'll see. It's going to be close. Okay, so now I'm to the point where I need to do that upper part. Okay. Like I said, really pay attention. You can even see how it goes on top of the other one, which you, you know, you'll question when you're going to do it. I'm just gonna have just enough, I think. It's gonna be close. All right, so then we have our last one. And we have our word hello. So what I do is, because this is paper, I just use a scotch tape on the back. I don't use knots. And it really isn't any reason to. And if you want this all to be really secured, you can cut out another circle and, and put that on the back and that will secure all your stitches too. And just glue that on. So basically that's what I did. Started with a loop and I put tape on top of it to hold that down and then we have our word hello and that will go on top of our embroidery hoop all right I'll get the rest together okay so I have everything laid out it is not attached yet I just wanted to show you um, how I'm going to be putting this together and with the um, I always try to lay it out first and then put the design on so all I'm going to do is glue this these on in some cases I'm going to actually use foam dot or a foam tape and then I'm going to come back and attach it to the actual embroidery hoop I'll be right back okay so I decided I'm just going to go ahead and glue this and put this all together and if you don't want to watch how I put this all together you can just fast forward it it's just for those people that would like to see what it is I am doing so right now, I mean, this is probably going to flip a little bit as I move it because it isn't attached. But this is the needle, and I'm making it look like I just got through sewing. And then I made several more um, flowers than what I started with. And um, like I said, I just colored these all in with a Prismacolor um, pencils. And I'm going to um, glue all these little flowers on first because they're going to move all over the place. So... And I really like the um, texture from this, but I am sure 
Um, there are other um, folders out there that would work as well. I think um, Tim Holtz has one that's called Woven. I think that would look really good um, for this concept. It's just I just happen to also have this one from Stamping Up from some time ago. I don't know that you can get that anymore. Um, but I, I there's so many 3D really pretty um, embossing folders out there right now. But this is just what I had. I do have the woven one too. I didn't think to even honestly use it because I knew I had this one that looked like cross stitch. So I think I got that one attached. Okay, good. So the next thing is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these little hair bows to the um, mice because I know that those will also come off, fall off. And then the tiny little flowers I put inside of the hoop. And I, um, I know I showed you I did stamp the happy birthday inside of the hoop as well. It doesn't come that way. You can put, there's several uh, stamps in the set that you can put um, inside of this hoop. There's even a stitched heart a stitched flower. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff actually. So let's see, I want to make sure these other ones are going to be affected by um, where they're put. So I'm going to go with the one that's underneath first. So I told you they're just going to move all over. I'm going to take this one off for right now. And so I just wanted it to have some, you know, a place for it to sit. And I want to have some idea where that was. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't go back in exactly the same way. And then you can always test it out as you're going. And um, so those are gonna, the mice are gonna, like I said, have the foam tape. All right, let's see here. Make sure I get that centered. And put the little bow on the mice. I guess I have all girl mice in my... Or you don't have to have any bows on them at all. It's really cute either way. This always reminds me of Cinderella. I'm going to put that there. And then I want to make sure I have that button in the right place. I think I'll just put a little dot behind the mouse because I am going to put the foam tape on him, on her. I want to make it look like she's holding. If it doesn't stick to my fingers. All right, that works. So that's the concept there. And now I just need the foam tape. And then I'll show you how I am gonna attach that to the wood. Um, the glue would work fine, but I like to use the score tape because it's I have made several of these hoops, not um, with a lawn fawn, but with other stamps and um, I actually have them hanging up on my wall and they are adhering really well with the score tape. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set that one on. I knew this was gonna take a little while, but sometimes it's nice just to see how somebody does it and you might do it a different way um no big deal just so that you can see uh, a way to do it and i like that they're raised and the rest because it, it gives a little bit more dimension i think the longest thing for this project two things actually but the longest thing for this project was really cutting the dies apart um, 
actually I think it took me the longest to cut the dies apart for this project and then um, stitching the hello which didn't take me that long and um, so basically um, it, you know just didn't take me all that long so and it actually is a really enjoyable project I like the end result I will um, just because I think it's cute and I actually love to sew. I am gonna actually, um, and it says happy birthday, but I think I'm still gonna put that up in my sewing room. And just to let you know, this little mouse is not running with scissors. <laughs> just, I thought, put the decoration behind. I really think those scissors are super cute. All right, so that's how that's gonna go. So then the next thing, oh, and I did put a backing on that, like I told you. Um, and so the next thing I just do is I get out my, I think this is eight of an inch, yeah. Pretty sure. There, we gotta find the end. And then all I do is, um, if I can do this so you can see it, I just hold it and it kind of like, because um, it's a circle, um, it actually has to kind of like, I call it if it was fabric gather. Um, so there's creases in it as you go around the corner. But this does adhere really well to the wood. Because you can see how it has a little bit of the wrinkles like in it, and it's not a big deal because it really just lays, lays flat. But that's how I put it on. And I really like this, this score tape um, actually just tears. I remember when I first started using double-sided, you know, heavy duty, it was the red line. There's nothing wrong with the red line tape, but um, I always had to cut it. And I kind of like, I guess maybe I just got spoiled because this is really nice. You don't have to cut. All right, so I'm just gonna try to line that up with this camera in front of me and um, I wanted the wood to still be shown so that you could actually see that it was a hoop. So, and what's really nice is um, I can hang this up. The other thing is if you are gonna give this as a gift, you can actually write on the back here if you do line your, you know, if you go ahead and line it, um, you could write on the back if it's a gift too and date it. Um, Cause sometimes it's nice to know when you've made it. So anyway, that's the end result. And I just thought I'd give you a little bit closer. You can see a little bit of sparkle on his thimble. Um, so I don't know, it's super cute. And I loved um, doing the stitching with the um, sewing um, stamps. So um, I hope you had a good time watching that. I hope it inspires you. And um, we have a, um, Dice Ross does have a Facebook page and um, you can share there in the community. I would love to see what you make. Thanks so much.